All right, sad season. Let's see what's coming in. Yeah, somebody's about to find out some information. Some positive information is coming y'all way. Y'all finna get some clarity. Spirit is about to shine the light on somebody. Somebody's about to get the answers. They need to make a decision. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and again, Leo and the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. So y'all could be dealing with uh, Queen of Swords here. Yep, there's the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're about to find out the answers y'all need are coming. All right, y'all could be not looking at things, not going to be looking. Some illumination is coming. All right, yep, there's somebody spying on y'all page. Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, somebody moving towards y'all for a commitment. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, date. There's the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody could be planning to relocate or move. All right, you guys could be moving near some border, making a decision here, taking action toward the move. Things are going to start smoothing out for some of you guys mentally. All right, again, let's do Sag. Happy birthday, Sag is out there. Oh, team Sag. All right, let's go. What's going on here? Oh, oh, third party situation, separation. Somebody's making a decision to a sword. Gemini, Evil Aquarius, somebody ready to come in there. There's a high priestess. Somebody is pursuing some options, choices, and suitors here. Somebody's coming in here with a golden opportunity. All right. Again, y'all dealing with the overall energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody could be ending a third-party situation, coming in with a new fresh start. And there's a high priestess here. Somebody's checking out an online business. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody's about to give y'all a proposition. All right. A golden opportunity. Yep. There's Virgo there. Somebody's looking into something, doing some type of research. What else? Yep, they're ready to come in out of the cold. Somebody could be relocating. Somebody could be having a change of mind about something. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yep, somebody's focusing on their healing. All right, with that star card, with that Aquarius. Somebody could be in the spotlight. Yep, somebody's holding back a secret. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Five of Swords. Somebody's fighting for some stability. Yep, there's some been some endings with some negativity, negative thinking. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody's spying. Somebody's hiding a secret. Somebody could be watching to see if y'all going to let that secret out. Oh, yeah. Some of y'all got a lot of people after y'all. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, everything is fine. Ten of Swords. All right. So some of y'all got a deep, deep, dark secret. Somebody's blocking something, trying to keep somebody from sign, finding spot signing. Oh, signing off on something or finding out about something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, affecting their stability. Bam. There's that Ten of Cups. Happily ever after and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Y'all can have a water sign, a very loving, nurturing person coming toward y'all that sees happiness with y'all. Somebody crying over spilled milk. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody could be missing their family. Somebody here is getting the courage and the confidence, the strength, staying balanced here. Again, somebody is on their last leg. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to commit me with y'all. Somebody about to get a lump sum of money. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a proposal or a commitment or an engagement. Somebody's fighting for a legacy, generational wealth, all right, to break a, a toxic cycle or in, uh, a cycle dealing with uh, something financial. There's some abundance. There's a major turn coming around. Somebody could have been out of work. So somebody's about to get a level up. They about to get a surprise. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a lifetime commitment. This is lifetime support. This is like the lotto ticket. A big ass cash in win. All right, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Payback Daddy, Jupiter, Sagittarius coming up in there, Divine Masculine. Somebody's hiding something. Somebody's ready to turn something around. They're coming toward y'all. This has been a long haul for some of you guys. This is family. So somebody want to turn something around. Somebody want a fresh new start with you guys after a third party situation. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with that Ace of Wands there for you, Sagittarius out there. Yep, this could be a collaboration. This could be a, a, oh, I heard a record deal for some of you guys coming in there, a record deal. For some of you guys, it could be a modeling deal to uh, some artistic expression, uh, modeling, art, drawing, teaching, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and it's going to pay very well. Y'all going to be sitting in the Queen of Pentacles uh, position, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, for the rest of y'all life. So some of you guys going to be teaching a class, possibly, or going for some type, or that's the star card. And it was in reverse. So there's definitely somebody losing hope or somebody definitely getting their wish fulfillment coming in there. Seeing things from a bird's eye view, from a higher perspective. Uh, again, they've done some healing work here. Somebody has let go of somebody in the past. There's that King of Pentacles. Y'all going to be definitely sitting pretty. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody's going to be in a, in a teacher role. Somebody is definitely going to be in a boss role. 
Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, that is the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is in a commitment. Somebody want to bring something together, team up with you guys, and work together to build some legacy. This could be a business arrangement for some of you guys. Destiny and fate that you work with this person, or this is y'all career path that's taking a major, major turn with that Jupiter Sagittarius. Yep, and that lover card. So y'all could be dealing with a Gemini lover card here. Yes, Gemini, this person is y'all soulmate divine counterpart they want to pair up they want to team up and what else yep cap what did i say they want to pair up they want to team up and y'all they are obsessed with y'all y'all could be going out for this is gonna be a karmic a past life lover and a and a new life lover like for this lifetime and last lifetime for some of you guys this is a uh somebody career work or business about to take off doing something that y'all love yep there's libra right there saying the truth is the truth justice and for all here so this is some truth coming out. This is a karmic uh, situation being coming to an end, regaining balance uh, again after a hardship, after negative energy. Somebody trying to stab y'all in the back could be family, could be somebody that is could be marriage proposal commitment uh, again that's coming in. Justice, somebody boss, uh, somebody could be emotionally uh, codependent here. All right, financially, workaholic. Ooh, we somebody want to come in with a Knight of Pinnacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, proposal, commitment, and an offer. Yep, there's the Empress. Somebody not feeling beautiful. And there's the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So somebody's feeling kind of down, feeling off balance. Somebody could have lost a baby. Gemini, Leave Aquarius. All right, is there somebody taking some swift action towards something? Uh, again, toward the truth. Somebody want to tell somebody the truth here. Somebody could have, oh, I heard miscarriage. Somebody could have uh, had a miscarriage. Somebody's in a nine of pinnacle, enjoying the fruits of their labor. Y'all are saving for yourself, treating yourself very well, taking good care of yourself, putting yourself first now. Uh, self uh, development, again and again, financial independence and stability. And some of you guys are about to get proposals here. So this is a proposal, or this is a job uh, offer coming, a career coming here. Again, King King of Swords. I'm not even fair. Some of you guys. Could have a choice of three people y'all are thinking about uh, leveling up with. Somebody wants to reach out and call you guys out of the blue. Y'all could be dealing with a Virgo or Taurus or a Gemini or Pisces. Yep, Spirit said again, the truth, Libra. So y'all is about to get some clarity here. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call. Somebody want to redeem themselves, baby. They want to redeem themselves with the justice. Somebody let y'all down. Somebody could have disappointed y'all as an empress. Or somebody could be projecting and you guys could be feeling uh, insecure about yourselves. Empress energy. You guys are in the spotlight. What else? Spirit for Sag. This is for y'all. Rising sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, Cuspers, and cross watches. Take what resonate and leave the rest. This is a Sag season, so we're going to do a bonus here. All right. Let's see. So, yeah. What we got here? Yeah. Somebody's spying on y'all. Gemini, Libra, Queer, somebody holding back communication, somebody waiting on the right time to come forward. It's been a long time. It's been a slow and steady race for some of you guys. Yeah, somebody don't want to let go of what y'all said. Somebody is definitely holding on to some conversation. Somebody could be spying. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, again, Pisces, Gemini, yep. Somebody's been juggling some idea. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, trying to work things out. Bring something together. Yep, release some type of worry. Make a decision to let something go. That's karmic. Somebody could be drinking, partying too much. Three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Uh, three of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody want to reconcile with y'all. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, make a decision. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody coming towards y'all. Yep, somebody wants a rebirth. So y'all could be definitely. Y'all could be calling something to an end. Or this person is coming back. Scorpio is coming back to rebirth. This is somebody that don't like to lose. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be a sore loser. They see y'all got the victory. This is somebody that's out to uh, put an end to y'all victory or to block y'all victory. Somebody don't want y'all to be successful, Sagittarius. It could be a Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But y'all got victory and success coming. You guys didn't give up. You guys fought for something, a rebirth. Uh, again, dark night of the soul. Somebody could be going through the dark night of the soul. Yep, somebody's got a decision to make about some investment. They've been watching, uh, again, uh, financially, uh, watching for seven years. Charles Capcom Virgo, yep. Time to take a leap of faith, take a risk in yourself. Financial stability, financial independence. Again, focus on y'all bag. Charles Capcom Virgo on y'all money, on y'all stability. 
All right, again, yep, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, Page of Pentacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is somebody headed to your, could be a page, it'd be a new beginning here that somebody got here. Some of y'all dealing with a work relationship. Some of y'all dealing with a love connection here. Heart to heart talk and a retreat. You deserve love. You are lovable. That's what I just saw. Sam's is out there. Take what resonates, lead the rest. Past life love. Somebody from y'all past is returning. So many. No, it did not. <laughs> Drop, dropped out of there. Yes, it did. Children could be affecting y'all love life. And bam, yes, this is y'all soulmate. So some of y'all soulmate is definitely coming in. Yep, this could be the one. All right. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so y'all could know y'all person very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So some of you guys are manifesting. Somebody is in separation there. Time apart from y'all partner is on the horizon. Yep, new love coming in there for the lovebirds there out there with the newbies. Uh, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. That's for some of y'all that want the old new, uh, the old new or the new new, day one or one day. Yeah, somebody is definitely trying to block y'all. Yeah. There could be some roadblocks here. Yep, you deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, retreat. Somebody want to go on vacation. Somebody want to disconnect from the world. Let your friends help you. And, yep, let your friends help you. And, bam, there is a wedding and a commitment under there right there. This situation involves marriage. And you got to let your friends help you, right? Go ahead and ask for support. That's too many, Spirit. Thank you. Sag, what's going on? Happy birthday, Sag. Yes. November 27th. We have a new moon in Sag, too. Yep, wealthy man coming in there. Somebody very stable. Very, there's our wealthy man. He's a pinnacle. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, and a Capricorn. This could be a businessman. Ooh, this could be a business person. Somebody's career work or business. Somebody's going to be financially stable. They could be financially stable long-term. They think about their long-term wealth. Yep, look at there, some toil and labor. Somebody could be, yeah, it could be their work, business, and career. Some pathway is about to open up for somebody in 35 days, 35 hours. There's that lover card, and bam, there's that great fortune. So, yeah, somebody's hard work is definitely about to pay off with this great fortune. Y'all been struggling for a while. You guys have been working very hard and diligently towards some type of goal, and y'all are about to get that level up. And there's a pathway. It's definitely coming in for the lover card as well. And that's over here too. With this with this Capricorn, this Gemini, and this King of Pentacles. That's y'all y'all hard work paying off. Some of y'all in a leadership role, a boss, a CEO, a manager. And some of you guys is about dealing with a, a love of y'all life here. And that Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Empress Energy. So you guys, y'all are sexy, single, independent, attractive, available. There's a main man here. Y'all don't know about this person and this main woman. This could be a couple here. Yeah, there's a mature man here in the picture as well. So there's more than one. There's multiple lovers. Family. Could be family involved in this situation too. Yep, mature woman, mature man, main man. Message. So there could be a love letter coming out. And there's a concerned grandpa. Somebody's concerned. Master number 33. There's the fair lady. There's the privileged lady. Wealthy, single, sexy, attractive. Living your best life. At 1444. Ooh. Spirit spit them cards out. Spirit got a lot to say. 
Yep, there y'all go, living y'all best life. And at the end of the road with the who? The work card and boom, the community. So somebody's work is coming to an end or somebody's definitely uh, has evolved, right? Their community. So somebody is seeing y'all as the privileged lady in the community and you guys have evolved past y'all community. All right, yep, there's some transformation coming in there. Scorpio energy, life, death, and reverse. So somebody's hard days or work is over with. Y'all going to be the privileged lady. There's a the courthouse right there. So this could be dealing with some type of court decision or some type of inheritance here with that great fortune. Yeah, thinking man. There's a sudden wealth right there at the foot of the privileged lady. And there's a baby. Somebody could want to pay y'all to have a baby, be a surrogate. Or y'all might be already pregnant without being a surrogate. Somebody wants y'all to go half on a whole baby. <laughs> there's expectation. Look, I told y'all somebody wants y'all to go half on a whole baby. <laughs> Again, somebody is ending the expectations of waiting on somebody. Waiting on this sudden wealth, on this fortune, on things to work out and turn in a favor from the court. Generational wealth, stability, abundance. Oop, yep, poverty. Something could go either way. Yeah, there's a baby. That's it, Sag. I'm not going to beat up them cars no more. They ain't got shit to say. So, again, that's y'all little reading there. Bonus, Sag. Oh, my God. This was beautiful. Somebody's got love. Somebody's got some career, business, and work and love coming in. Looks like all three. So, again, uh, work, business, and career coming in for you guys is Sag. Hard work paying off. Yep, y'all hard work has freaky, freaky paid off. Excuse me, I'm working. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see if I can get some of this up. Y'all hard work has paid. Y'all hard work has definitely paid off. Okay, Sad, y'all about to y'all about to took half my debt, huh? Oh Lordy, that was a page of pinnacle. Let's see what's coming in here for y'all. Sag, y'all hard work is definitely paying off. It's not been in vain. Adjustments may need to be required. Okay. But over that, overall, I feel like y'all just doing some leeway. And I'm a Sag moon, so y'all know I'm feeling that already. <laughs> and your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. What else? You're very close to achieving your goal. That's what else. And what else? Have faith in your dreams, and that's what else, right? Waxing crescent moon. Let's see what's coming in for you, Sagittarius. Here, what's coming in here? Yep, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon relaxation. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries, and boom, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So, I mean, like, how can we take time to breathe out but then take action? Like, they need to make up their mind. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Okay, somebody listen to a Kit Kat commercial or something. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Time for healing. Pazalamic moon and pour more love into the situation. Pour a little love into your heart. Open up your heart chakra, pour a little love. Give back to y'all self. Take time out. Uh, take some relaxing, take time out. Y'all hard work is, is about over. Y'all end up a tough cycle there. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. And boom, don't let your past hold you back south node. All right. Again, and adjustments need requ uh, adjustments are required third quarter moon. So that's what's coming in there. Don't let your past hold you back. Peace, love, and harmony.